it, Matt. It's all you. What? Why is it always me? Hey, guys. Well, Zach I, will start it. Okay, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of Pop Culture Unboxing. We're going to talk about some video games today, and we've got some movie things coming up, as well as, I believe, a Hulu event. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Good intro. Good intro, Zach. I'm wow. Matt. Hulu event. I'm unprepared. <laughs> no, you're Ryan. Oh, yeah. I'm Ryan. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Ryan. Why did I catch me off guard? <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> he, he served that one right up. I mean, there's there no was, way I couldn't was, spike that there one. There was no hesitation. <laughs> it was just bam. <laughs> That's just how my you? mind works. Ask Ryan. It frustrates him. Nah, who are you? I already said I'm Matt. Matt who? Matt, who? Matt the heart and soul of this show? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm Zach. I'm the guy that you actually came to listen to. Yep. And wow. then, then we brought Ryan on. Yeah. yeah. He showed up, so we figured we couldn't record without him. <laughs> uh, did I start the timer? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't. All right. Now I did. Ryan, what are we talking about today? Lots of stuff, man. Are we? Yeah. And how much of what Ryan said, is, or how much of what Zach said is true? Uh... Honestly, I don't know. I, oh, the Hulu I thing was Disney Plus. That was the problem. Oh, good Bam. try. There we go. I was close. So yeah. almost all of it. Almost all of it. Pretty almost much. I don't think there's any. I mean, I guess the movies and Hulu slash Disney stuff is the same thing. Guess I figured that. Uh, so Ryan, not, haven't you been dying to watch Mulan? No, because I forgot it was coming out. <laughs> oh well, it is. Uh, well, look, I look. I added this to the list because I figured this would be an interesting discussion outside of what the actual topic is. So. Uh, Recently, they announced Mulan will be heading to Disney Plus Mm -hmm. instead. It was supposed to come out in theaters, but now it's coming to Disney Plus for uh, direct video or video on demand. That's what it is Mm -hmm. on uh, September fourth, and it'll be for thirty bucks. Now, I guess that's you buying it. Yes, and then Um, my question is, can you rent it? I don't know. I don't know. But why not interested? So, so why this is interesting. Interesting is well, so for thirty bucks, that's pretty much what you would pay if you were you and your spouse were going to go see it in the theater yeah. anyway. So if you were going to go with somebody, like thirty bucks is pretty much what you're dropping down anyway. But uh, how I learned about this is there was a guy who makes YouTube videos. Like I uh, have to find, I'll I'll put links in it so you can find them on your own. But he posted a video about this that he was on the you know on the earnings call and got it, and when he got off, they had mentioned that they may be bringing Black Widow. To the, the, ba- Black Makes Widow sense. may come to this same way. Well, no, I thought Black Widow already has a November release. Well, plan. so in theaters, but they may just do this instead. Right. That makes sense. So the reason, like I asked, like uh, I f- thought this would be an interesting discussion piece because I feel like this is one of those things that's that's just, this is one of those nails in the coffin of cinema. Well, Going Trolls already theaters. did it as well, right? Yeah, and it ended mm-hmm. up making more money for them. Yeah. Than, so. W- what do you guys see the future out of this? Like, well, didn't you... AMC just sign a big deal with someone to release movies I along thought... with theaters? No, I thought they were saying they weren't going to release a studio's movies. They didn't want to re- release one a certain studio's movies. Is that it? I thought I that's forget. What it is. I don't. I don't remember them saying them making a deal. Uh, <clears throat> but basically, like I, this is kind of how I've always seen the future is what it's going to look like. Yeah, is movie mm-hmm. movies you're either going to be able to rent them for fifteen bucks. Or buy them for thirty. Nope. And no, that's it. There's no like wait period because people are already starting to become less like people hate the wait. I hate yeah. the wait mm-hmm. sometimes. Going to see a movie in theater and be like, man, I wish I could just go take it home, watch yeah. it again, kind of go through what I wanted to go through, and not give extra money when I've already seen a movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and I I worry because this this is where I felt when it comes to streaming services. This is where it's at, and this is what. The future really holds. I would be not surprised if I saw other movie theaters doing this because if you think like Disney doing it this way, it's already going to their platform. Yeah. How much money are they spending? Because they're not spending any more money. But to put it in theaters, you know, they you know a theater has to take a chunk of their money. Now that thirty dollars just goes straight. Theater to takes almost no chunk of the money, oh, especially I, Disney. Oh, I thought it did. No, Disney mm-hmm. stuff. They almost always lose money on the ticket sales, especially oh. for Disney. It's the snacks and the concessions that theaters make their money on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the tickets themselves—that's where that goes to the, the that goes to the studio, not yes. to the theater. That's what I'm saying. What now? What they could do? They don't have to. They don't have to worry about putting it in the theater, mm-hmm. spending any money to hold that hold that slot. shipping the 
video mm-hmm. shipping yeah. the DVD or not DVDs, the hard drives to all the theaters. Yeah, like there is, there's no, there's this is almost so much easier than getting it out to theaters, mm-hmm. and they don't have to worry about. It. You know, we've had cases. We went to movie theaters and the movie broke. Yeah, halfway through the to the to the movie, oh, like yeah. we didn't even. I still haven't seen the end of uh, a Quiet Place because it broke in a theater. And now I can't watch it for some reason. Yeah, it's a good movie, mm. but. Like, what do you see out of it? Like, how do you, do you see this being a problem or do you see it as a positive? Right now, with the way that COVID is, I see this being, I, I think this just accelerated what was already going to be. Yeah. So, like, now it's one of those things that, well, if you want to put a movie out and you spend a lot of money making it, this is the way to do it. You, you go straight to video on demand now and you're not losing I, th- I think what it's going to turn out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to become a necessity that becomes normal. Mm-hmm. And it's exactly mm-hmm. what it's going to be. Now, in this specific case, like I said before, I am not going to pay $30 to watch a movie that I already saw a better version of 20 yeah. years ago. But, <laughs> yeah. but the thing is, I argue there will be a lot of people that will see this. Like the, I, I guarantee there's going to be a lot of people that will buy this because a lot of people bought The Lion King and loved the live-action mm-hmm. Lion King, but nothing changed. Well, I, th- I think the thing with the, the, the live-action Lion King is everyone wanted to hear... James Earl Jones again, yeah. <laughs> that's what that's that's why he keeps getting cast as Vader now. Everyone just wants yeah. to hear his voice. Mm-hmm. They don't care about the actual actor; they just want to hear the voice. Yeah. That, the man's got a phenomenal voice. He does stuff. Uh, I believe he used to do stuff on Broadway too. So I wouldn't surprise me. me. Mm. Surprise. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of those actors have have spent time on Broadway. Mm. I always find out about uh, there's some actors now that I found that go to Broadway now mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. do Broadway. Quite almost, almost uh, exclusively. Adele Dazeem, she does that. Yeah. Um, Daniel Radcliffe spent a long time just doing Broadway stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what? Uh, do you remember the guy? You watched the 2000s awful Godzilla movie, right? Matthew Broderick. Yeah. He. Uh, Are you sure you're not thinking of the movie? He was the producers. No. So he, I've I saw he's been doing some like actual musicals. Like, so they got over the fact that he killed a woman in Ireland. I didn't hear about that. All I know is okay. I've seen a bunch of footage of him. Look it up. Of him. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't mean right now. Just well, in I want to free time. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll just leave it floating out there. Thanks, thanks. I'll have to put that on the news someday. I always get him and Pee Wee Herman's crimes mixed up. Well, Pee Wee Herman <laughs> just had a good time in a movie theater. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll call it. Well, I mean, it's a little more ridiculous than that. Yeah, and, and, it was in a child's movie. movie. Yeah, no, it was an adult movie theater for watching. Adult films. Oh, was it? I thought it was. Yes. Oh, in a place I... where you kind of expect what he was doing yeah, I to don't... be done. I, I, no, I thought, he, got I, in I thought he went to go nope. see a Mary Kate and Ashley. No. No. He went to an adult wasn't. film. Oh, oh maybe, yeah. maybe I'm, I'm thinking of something else. Yeah. No, that's what's so ridiculous. No, about I it. think you're thinking of the famous comedian that we talked about a while back in one of our pre shows, by our prior pre shows. Uh, <laughs> uh, the guy from Full House. And yeah. Bob thinking. Saget. Bob Saget and Mary Kate. Ashley Olsen, you know, yeah, they say he's kind of a creep. They say some things. Bob said, hopefully he never on this show. No, <laughs> don't worry. He'll probably he be won't. dead by the time we're famous. <sighs> okay. You want to move on to something? Fingers different? crossed. <laughs> uh, but so, so you, well, Matt, you didn't Dude. really say anything. What do you think of this? I've already said this is where you don't think. Do you think this is going to be permanent? Or yeah. do you think this is just like a, no, maybe not permanent. Um, mm-hmm. It's going to require a lot of, um, Changes. What is the, uh, I believe, for to be worthy of the Oscars is what it is. It has to be shown in theaters. Yeah, but I can see that change. Which is why they're mm-hmm. going to, Milan isn't exclusively going to Disney Plus. It'll be available in theaters in select regions. I guarantee you some of those are going to be a couple theaters in mm-hmm. California to fulfill the Oscar obligation to be shown in theaters. Probably not because America's being punished right now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. They're going to want this thing to be, they're going to want this to be able to be shown at the Oscars. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is like right now, as like the current plan is, uh, in fact, the first film to do it is going to be Tenet. Supposedly, yeah. Tenet is going to release over, you know, over into in in the other side of the world where we're not going to ever really see it in theaters until later, until yeah. we can, you know, get our get our crap together and, <laughs> and you know, Whatever. not and not spread a virus around. Yeah, but uh, I just it my concern with movies right now mm. is since we haven't heard much yet. I think Dune's getting delayed. Probably. I'm a little worried the fact is this COVID thing, there's been a long time before movies could get back to filming. Yeah. And there's, there's been, been a, a long gap. gap. Mm-hmm. So like, what is, so really this year, it's crap. There's yeah. been a lot of movies out. But what what's next year going to be like? Because I mean, like, 
what movies are being made right now. Yeah, because a lot of stuff yeah. coming out toward the end of this year and the beginning of next year are stuff that are already in post production at this point. Yeah. But even mm-hmm. then, they probably still had to wait to do pickup shots and if they needed them, reshoots, the, which is going to delay things more. Of course, mm-hmm. The Mandalorian and probably any Disney film. Will Mandalorian's be. already, well, uh, it's already finished. Well, I know. Like, it's coming out. I know. But they're they're going to be okay because they have a, a closed, enclosed set. The yeah. way they make their they make that show so they're Which is mm-hmm. wild. If you and ever Disney's, have a chance to look into it? Yeah, it's really crazy. It looks really cool though. Instead of a green screen, it's basically a giant LCD screen. Yeah, that's that awesome. That's synced what up with they the camera. See, right? It's yeah. It just projects it's an image. It they made. The image. And it's essentially the matte paintings you'd see in the old Star Wars movies, except it's an image on a screen that's synced up with the camera. So that as the camera moves, the background moves in a way that looks still. That's it's awesome. so fascinating. There's a yeah. It's wild. That also the. That uh, corridor digital, yeah. The show that the uh, that brought it. That about know, I can't remember what that dot what what it is. Is it just called which, which one? The little documentary where they all sit around in the table. Uh, that's on Disney Plus. Well, I don't know. Well, so they have that show. They have a show where they have the directors talk about like making the making of the Mandalorian and everything. Mm-hmm. It's on Disney mm-hmm. Plus. I, but it's really fascinating to watch because it's crazy to see how they made these how they made the episodes. There's yeah. a lot of effort and thought in the Mandalorian yep. makes sense. Cause Dave Filoni's there. Yep. <laughs> so, um, but also there's a really great episode. I can't remember which one it is, but Dave Filoni talks about his opinions on star Wars and, and, and his experience working with George Lucas and why he looks up to George. And it's, it was almost tear jerking hmm. cause it's just so like that, that is a man who truly loves star Wars. Yeah. And he, doesn't just he he's not just making star wars like he appreciates what he's doing like he has a job like anyone could have looked at that job and said well it's star wars always going to make money it's an easy paycheck for me he mm-hmm. truly truly loves what he's doing and he loves that universe and he, i don't think he'll ever stop no. i think he loves that place he is a one of the biggest star wars fans i've ever seen oh, yeah. and and he and it, it's it's really based on what his memories of watching the original star Wars is. Yep. And also just working with Lucas, like almost feels like Dave Filoni is a little Lucas. He is. Like he was yeah. <laughs> trained by Lucas to replace him. Yeah. And it's, it's fascinating. So but, before you start diving back into all your Lucasfilm conspiracy theories, let's move on to the next. Well, topic. I'm not going to get into it, but let's move on. Uh, so I got, this so goes, here we go back into the console war stuff. Yeah. Just letting you know. Talk we're going to touch on this stuff. It's not going to be too long. Don't worry. Yeah, but it probably will be. We won't stick too long. To, and remember, stay to the end of the episode because we got a, yes. we got another quiz, baby. Yeah, it'll be fun. Just like your favorite uh, time in school. More quizzes. Teacher Yay. Ryan. Professor except Ryan. Except these aren't scored. Except maybe they are. Oh, uh, they are by me personally. Oh. Uh, did you read anything about yes. this article? Do you want to talk about this since you know a so lot more about for the last year, for the last year or so, Xbox and Microsoft have been offering a service uh, free. Uh, free, you all you have to do is sign up and be accepted into it. Uh, program for anyone with an Xbox account, and you can sign up for it, and you get access to XCloud, which is an app on Android that lets you play a ton of Halo or a ton of Xbox games for free as much as you want. Uh, such as Halo, uh, Halo Five Guardians was one of them. I think the Forza games are on there. Uh, there were a bunch of them. A lot of them, a handful of them were like lesser known titles, but they had a couple triple A's on there, and you could play them as much as you wanted and play the whole game. All they asked is that you did it and you used your phone to do it, um, and it worked really well. It works the same way as like a Stadia. There's a bunch of games. Des- Destiny Two wasn't on there. It is now. This is all the games that are apparently. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Destiny Two is launching for Game Pass. Yeah, so uh, yeah. We'll anyway, list this off later. Uh, Ark was already on there. I think the Gears games were already on there. Um, but uh, yeah, it played really well. It played. It was like Stadia or like Steam, whatever Steam's version of it, or Nvidia Go. I think is what that one's called. Well, you let us try it on yeah. your phone. It worked really it well. I don't plays know. well. I was impressed. Um, it it played better with a bad connection than Stadia did. Um, <laughs> Stadia really struggled with a bad connection. But with a good connection, both of them are great. But starting September, what? You scrolled away from the t- date. Oh, sorry. September 15th. September 15th, it's going to go from being xCloud, the free service, to being bundled in with their Game Pass Ultimate, which everyone knew was, everyone who used it knew that xCloud was just testing. Mm-hmm. They were testing it all, make sure everything worked right. 
And now you essentially, it's essentially like a Netflix for games. You sign up for Game Pass Ultimate, you have access to all of these games and they're going to add more all the time. And they're probably going to add games as they come out. So like if you want to play Halo Infinite, Oh uh, man, it'll Halo, probably be released on there. Halo Wars Definitive Edition's on there. I, I love the Steel Bo- Steelbook version. Of I Halo had the Wars. Steelbook version of it as well. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was it was fun, and I think uh, I think it'll do well for them. It all feeds into how Xbox is probably going to end up winning this console wars because they've essentially stepped out of the console wars. Yeah, they chose not to fight. They're not yep. worried about hardware anymore. They they see where gaming is going in the future. They realize that it's being able to play. It's being able to pause your game while you're from your TV and, you know, and your lunch break at work or uh, when you're on vacation or something like that, you don't have to bring it with you. You can play, your, you can pick up, you're playing Halo Infinite. You can pick it up on your phone and keep playing it. All you have to do is bring your controller. And that's what like, and that's where PlayStation does it wrong because where Xbox is trying to make it so you can, they're jumping into the console generation, not about hardware, but just where, how can you play your games and, and how, there's no limitations mm-hmm. to play your games. We're they're, play- they're working on Xbox as a service while yeah. Sony is working on PlayStation as a platform. Yeah. And PlayStation mm-hmm. is, and they're doing everything they can to make exclusives to their, to make you want to buy their console because why buy Xbox if everything you love is on this console, you mm-hmm. know? And mm-hmm. that's where we kind of bring into the fact that Marvel's Avengers is coming out <laughs> next month. Uh, and it's coming out for PC. We haven't talked about it much on the show. Yeah, so it's a video game about the Avengers. But yeah. it, it's an Avengers game. It doesn't look like it's going to be that interesting, but I'm trying it this weekend because I have beta access. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'll tell you how it is. But Marvel's Avengers is coming out for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. So everyone can play it. But just recently, PlayStation announced that they're going to lock Spider-Man mm-hmm. to PlayStation only. Now, it makes sense, and I saw, and you kind of saw it coming a mile yeah. away. When they started announcing that they had characters coming out after the game launched, like yep. we got Hawkeye yep, coming. Yeah, I remember the scene, the Hawkeye thing. Um, but the Spider Man, it makes sense, but it's not like yep. the Spider Man from Spider Man PS4. It's it's Crystal Dynamics' own version of Spider Man. They're not connected universes. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be. Probably they just don't want to tell anyone that. Um. But <laughs> this, as you said, Destiny. Playing As a Destiny, Destiny player, ain't nothing new. I played Destiny on PlayStation, so I never saw the problems that people. You claimed. got your Hockey Moon and your your strikes. And yeah, so I I, map. I never got hurt by yeah. any of this, but I wish this would end though. I well, do. but here's the difference: is allegedly, I ha- I wasn't able to confirm uh, that Spider Man would be coming to PC at some point, but allegedly Spider Man is never coming to Xbox and maybe coming to PC eventually. And again, as a Destiny player, we are we've been dealing with this and we were dealing with this from 2014 all the way up until Bungie split from Activision last year. Yeah. Where every year they PlayStation was getting stuff in D1 in Destiny 1, they would get the Hawkmoon hand cannon that was really good. We didn't get it in on Xbox until a year later. Um on D in Destiny 2 it wasn't as as big. Like they had a pretty good strike which is just a 15, 20 minute mission that you is meant to be replayed a lot. Then they had a, a, another gun that was just okay, but PlayStation likes doing this whole exclusivity thing. Even if they can't get an exclusive game, they want you to make your game have something exclusive in it for them. I definitely say Spider-Man is going to be the reason I would play the game. Like, yeah, but Mm -hmm. because I love Spider-Man, like as you know, out of my PlayStation history, I only have three platinums, which means Mm -hmm. I beat a hundred percent of the games and that's usually really hard to do. Spider Man was my second. Yeah. Honestly, and you'll you'll understand this. Um, and anyone who know who's played Destiny will understand it. This is more akin to if Destiny had released, but Cade Six was a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, yeah, that's well, exactly Spider-Man what Spider Man is. is like the the hero. Well, he's one of the three main heroes that's identifiable by everybody. Yes, like you can identify who Spider Man is. You know who Batman is. You know who Superman is. Yeah, you know who Wonder Woman is. Now you kind of know who Captain and Iron Captain America and Iron Man are. But the yeah. three main superheroes that everybody knew who they were. I don't think it's, these Marvel. I things, don't think it's an exaggeration to say that Spider Man is Marvel's most popular character. He definitely most is. I mean, it's why people went out and bought PlayStation fours yeah. for Spider Man. The first Marvel movie was Spider Man. It's why every not even MCU movie, but everybody's top ten list that has ever played that played a lot of video games as kids. It was Spider Man yep. two was on there. I remember playing that. 
I never even played that. I, back then, I never played that many video games. Unless you played it on PC, then it wasn't your favorite. But no. I was Spider Man Two on PC was terrible. I remember gaming when I was a kid as Tony Hawk being the absolute dominant game. It's coming and out for, for you, my man. I know, right? And for and, and it it blows my mind thinking about it now. It was like twenty years ago, the height of gaming was skating. Yeah, <laughs> I want another skate game. Aren't Did they you? working on one? I don't know. But have, or are they working on a Tony Hawk? I think they're working on a Tony Hawk. Well, yeah, I know they're working on a Tony Hawk one. But skate, I would love a skate four. We, I never played any of those. Skate four, no, we only had three skate games, right? My exposure to to I sports remember. games is I think I played a lot of NHL ninety nine. Mm-hmm. Um, I played a lot of Madden. And I, I never played any Mad- Madden and NCAA. I I played a oh, lot. Of those. NCAA I played was a great until game. those college students ruined it. Oh my god, that one year. The one year when the NCAA games came out and they let me, you create a character that went through your college and then you could be recruited into yep. Madden. That was so like you could make a whole line of your... Yep. It was awesome. If you wanted to be a football star, you had the chance. I remember... Uh, and one of the only memories I have as a kid of playing sport, other than that game and a snowboarding game, I forget what it was called, was the one time that me and my buddy were playing some basketball game mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we decided to make this absolute freak of a man... <laughs> who was like maxing every stat and super tall and stuff like that. And we were trying to think of a name of it. And we're like, you know, it'd be funny is if he was like, uh, because he's so tall, he had a name of someone short. And so we named him Bilbo Bags because it would, because we looked at the list of names that we, the commentators would say. And Bags was the closest one to uh, Baggins. Oh, so you so we had this freak of a man who was like eight feet tall and had a hundred in every stat. We played that for about half an hour, got bored, and went and did something else. The old classic. <laughs> right. I wish more games did that. You, if you made a custom character, they would say certain well, games. Yeah, you, you, you also know why in they got sport, like in uh, NHL nineteen. Mm-hmm. When I play mm-hmm. it, the commentators say Ross while I'm playing. Oh, that's cool because it's one of the names you can pick that they yeah, can they, say. They've added a bunch, but you do know why they got rid of the NCAA, NCAA games, right? Yeah, I yeah. know, but I agree why they got. Well, should I you inform our agree. listeners? So, the, well, for those for any listeners who might I'll, not know, I'll what, give the what story I'll give is. this political man a time to speak. Go ahead, our <laughs> political man. Well, well, what it came out is they were they were making games, and college students were arguing that they were using their likeness, and therefore should be paid for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which which is, which is a decent argument, but the the solution to that was that they just stopped making the game. Yeah, <laughs> so well, it, yeah. it was one of those spend, things where they didn't want to spend the money on. Like oh no, those kids they're, they're they're, to, there were too many kids. They're not allowed to get paid. They're both not, sides are right. Th- yeah, I yeah. Mean, but look, no one wants to hear us talk about video games. Not we really. Probably went on a little too much, too long. Sorry. Free Spider Man. <laughs> Free the spiders, man. Free the spider. Free the Spider Man's. Uh, another thing I, that added on before we get into the fun. Times, I didn't watch this. The boys. No, the, the, the this new trailer. Oh, nothing really. I mean, I I don't want to either. Oh, you don't want to because it's coming out soon. Um, well, I'm just really excited I'll for it. I'll try not to like t- talk too much about it. It just looks really cool. Yeah. I, I want to get back into the boys because I just tried I just watched first season of the Umbrella Academy. I really it. enjoyed it. I really like that and I was getting straight up the boys feeling like I yeah. felt that I felt that uh the Umbrella Academy is what uh like Marvel what MCU fans expect from Marvel. Like really mm, deep stories not really i feel like it fills a different niche like yeah the marvel is on one side of it dc still trying to figure out where they are um umbrella well, academy is in the middle <laughs> and then the boys is on the extreme end of the of the spectrum yeah is that the umbrella academy is a light is a nice middle ground um and you know what else i was watching recently is the tick <laughs> oh boy. i really like it <laughs> um they only made the two seasons though right and then yeah. they canceled it yeah i think they only made two mm, seasons. that sucks I, I mean, really liked it. I don't know if they're coming out with any more. I haven't um, heard anything about the tick in a long time. It's really good. Yeah. Um, and that one's like somewhere between the Umbrella Academy and the boys. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I also I I want more serious films. I think the boys is exactly what yeah. I, I'm looking for. Like the Watchmen. The Watchmen is pretty. I still didn't watch it. The 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 show isn't very good, but the yeah. movies, but the like that the more, Zack Snyder movie, yeah, like the I've more watched that forever. Either. The gritty like realism, like what would be like to have yeah. superheroes, is more interesting to me than the anything more MCU can give well, me. Well, that's anymore. what the boys is so realistic. Because of course they'd be commercialized immediately. Yeah. So I I I mean they already are technically. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so 
They're How many the toys cash- are on my shelf right now? Exactly. <laughs> of, They're act- one of the most commercialized things ever. Of superheroes, but... Uh, but anyway, I, yeah. So I won't, I won't show the trailer or tell you. But it looks really interesting. Yeah, I'm excited to see the future. I need to go back and rewatch the boys. I am planning to do that closer to when this, like, I'll probably watch it the week before this comes out, which is September. What? Uh, the video. Geez, say. I don't remember. September. Final trailer. Blah blah blah. Of course, it doesn't say. Oh wow. I don't know when it's coming out. Oh uh, oh. Uh. Uh, Prime, Prime, only on Prime. September fourth. I was gonna say that, and I'm like, <laughs> wait a know. minute, that doesn't sound oh, right. Wait, we're in August. This is yes. August. Yeah, next so, month. Yes. Next month. Uh, so uh, pretty much a, a month, a little bit less. Yeah. A reminder tomorrow. Well, Star no. Trek. No, today. No, yeah. Today. If you're listening to it today, today's the today's the Star Trek six. Lower Decks comes out. I don't know if it's gonna be the whole series or just one episode at a time, but I'm definitely gonna watch I think it. It's one episode at a time. I probably should also finish Picard while I'm at it. Hmm. I I don't think you should, but I'm I know. have to. Yeah, I mean, whatever. You do. All know. right, Ryan, lay it on us. You want a quiz? We you do. Guys want another? We've quiz? already twenty five minutes. We've covered everything we wanted to cover. Just because, nice and quick, so that we can go to these quizzes. So the we quick, have so much fun doing these. So here's yeah, these the question: great. Do you want to do one together, all three of us? Let's try that one first. We were looking it? at this before we started recording. It looks way too easy. All right, so let's go with this one. It's fifteen. Out of 15. It's BuzzFeed, but whatever. Yeah. So which book series has turned into a movie franchise starring Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint? Uh, definitely Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. Harry Potter? It's Harry Potter. <laughs> wow, look. We got it right. Okay. Uh, how many... <laughs> it jumped. Yeah. How many members were originally in Fifth Harmony? I feel like five is too easy. The seven. options are one, three, eight, five, and seven. I think seven. I'll say seven. Zach? Well... well Wait, Five is too obvious. Right now. Sorry. Is that I'm going to say three because then they expanded to get five. Mm, oh. That's a good point. And I, I think that's what it's going to be. I, I, I think it's I'll, one of those trick questions. Three, yeah. All right, three. We already, Wait, already lost. <laughs> we already lost the quiz? <laughs> it like, doesn't just let us get some of them wrong? Are you kidding? Screw this one. Let's go to the other one. Wow, BuzzFeed just... Uh, well, this one we can't do together. No. So, uh, <laughs> I can't believe we got one question all it's just like eh, no yeah. more, no more quiz for you. That's one of those things that I that I hate. It's like, it's like, well, what's the original? Well, there's two people that originally started it and found somebody else. So I guess technically the original is like two or three. That's until like you get that's to like a five. quiz asking it's what's like, two plus two? Four. What's the square root of a hundred billion and twenty-three? <laughs> so, I'm sorry, what? Where did that come from? All right. So this quiz is set up with it into like brackets so there's movie trivia disney star wars harry potter friends game of thrones and music we'll i can s- do all of those except for probably friends and music well we'll skip music so all right the first movies the first question what was the highest what is the highest grossest grossing film of all time without uh taking inflation into account as of Jaws. right now like uh, as of 2019 Jaws. as of 2019 yes you're cho- you want choices Without taking inflation into account, it's Avengers Endgame. Oh, you're, you're right. Oh, okay. okay. With on. inflation, I, I think it's I, still Titanic. I, I I did it backwards where I was thinking taking into account, and I was like, well, it's no, going to be I one of the older infl- ones. It's Titanic, right? With yeah. inflation, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it doesn't say. Yeah, but or no, it says, Avatar. It says the correct answer is Endgame. Well, Avatar yeah. is one of your choices. Uh, the next one: Which actor or actress is killed off in the opening scene of the movie Scream? Um, I, know, I know the answer to this one. Halle Berry? No. Do you want your choices? Good try, though. Do you want your choices before <laughs> yes, you Yes, just... I do. So Courtney Cox, uh, Drew Barrymore, or Rose McGowan? It's, it's uh, Courtney Cox. Drew Barrymore. It's Drew Barrymore. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually remember that one. Okay. Which film did Steven Spielberg win his first Oscar for Best Director? The choices Ooh. are Jaws, Catch Me If You Can, E.T. or Schindler's List? Schindler's List. I think that's right. You're right. It's Schindler's yeah. List. Woo! Schindler's, job, Schindler's List was good, although I've not seen it. Same. <laughs> oh, this one. It's on my list. I'll be surprised if you guys know this one. Which film won the first Academy Award for Best Picture? Gone we, with the Wind. Nope. It was Wings. I think we had this one last time. We night. did, actually. We and we still one. got it wrong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name... Of the shark hunting boat in Jaws. Do you want your choices? Yes. All right. A, the whale. 
B, the orca, C, the dolphin, or D, the shark? It was the orca. Final answer? Yes. Dolphin. Is that what you think? Dolphins. Nope, you're dolphins wrong. Attack Zach, you're wrong. Matt, you're right. It was the orca. Yeah. Oh. Orcas actually do hunt sharks. All right. Occasionally. So what was the first feature-length animated film ever released? Ever released? Wait, wait. Say that again. What was the first feature-length animated film ever released? Hint, uh, it was a Disney film. It was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It's Mickey Mouse. No, those were shorts. Oh, those were those considered were, shorts? No. Steamboat Willie was probably the first animation really released. Yeah, because they weren't like Steamboat feature Willie. Length. Oh, feature okay, length never mind. Snow White. Then, yeah, yeah Second I Second one was Pinocchio. Right. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. You yeah. were yep. correct. Oh, that's another one. What was the first original Disney song to win an Academy Award for Best Original Song? I know this one, too. It was the um, uh, Little Mermaid. Uh... Part of Your World? Yeah. Nope. Really? When you wish upon a star. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That, that's that everywhere makes more now. Sense. So I was thinking of like the beginning of the Disney Golden Age, because that's like when they really started to pick up Oscars. Mm-hmm. Okay, this one's pretty easy. What is the name of Han Solo's ship? The Millennium Falcon. Yes, yeah. that is correct. Uh, what month were all six original Star Wars released? May. Yes, you're right. Yep. Mm-hmm. May the 4th. Uh, 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 let's see here. Oh, <laughs> how many languages is C-3PO fluent in? Six billion forms of communication. Nope, six million. <laughs> six million. Oh. That's it. Over six million. All you're, right. You're only off by five billion. Yeah. <laughs> Give or take. Oh, okay. What I added is, a couple extra zeros there. <laughs> what is Harry Potter's Patronus? Stag. It's, yeah, it's a stag. Ah, so they, that, you're right. That was mm-hmm. a quick trick question. Kind of. I think well, a lot, was, think a lot of they, people say a deer. They put male deer, but it's a male stag, male deer. Do yeah. they actually say is the correct answer is male deer? They say a stag, or a male stag or male deer. Oh, yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's a stag. What does the... Imp- <laughs> Empress curse. Empress? Imperious? I M P E R I U S? I don't know this. Well, forget that. All right. Who <laughs> dies during the third Tri Wizard tournament? Cedric Diggory. Yeah. You are correct. What does Dumbledore give to Ron in his will? I guess we're on the Harry Potter part right now. Yes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm trying to jump between them so I don't stick with groups, but Dumbledore in his will? Yeah. He well, gives them the uh, light was... catcher. Did Whatever he? it's called. Yeah, I guess he did. Yeah, because yep. he, he needs to find That's his right. way the back del- eventually. That's right, yeah. So they call it the Deluminator? Yeah, Deluminator. De- Deluminator. Mm. That does that makes not sense. look like Deluminator. I feel like Zach's the one who gets this Harry Potter one. Probably. I haven't read them in so long. I actually read all the books. Part of our AR program, I um to be lazy, I sandbagged my scores to where I could read one Harry Potter uh, book a semester and get all <laughs> through my AR program. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, so who was responsible for the creation of the Night King? Uh, it was... Um, Do you want your choices? Yes. I forget what they were called. The First Knight. No. The Dark Princes. Nope. The Children of the Forest. The Children of the Forest. All right. You're right. Yeah. I, I knew it was those little dudes. I just couldn't remember what they were called. Uh, which Did house- you watch Game of Thrones? Uh, I started to, and then knowing how badly it ended, I just stopped. You probably should watch it <laughs> just for the cultural impact. Even the mm. first couple, first seasons had. I have. I think right. I've gotten through season two. You keep watching. Yeah, three and four are really good. Five is good. Six is where it declines a little bit. But six and seven are still good, and then eight is just yeah. It's which, like watching a train wreck. Which house only became one of the great houses of Westeros after Ergon Targaryen Targaryen's invasion? Um, Winterfell. No, hang on. Do you want? It would have been. Do you want choices, or do you want to try to guess it? I think I know the answer, but give me the choices. House Stark. No. House Bolton. House Tully, or House Tyrell. It probably would have been House Tully. Nope. Was it Bolton? Tyrell. It was House Tyrell. Yeah, that's right. I can guess. (laughs) I feel like they would have been in power before then. Oh, this one's a good one. Okay. All right. What music, what MTV music show premiered in 1998? Oh, we're already done with Game of Thrones? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, what was I the question no again? Uh, what MTV music show premiered in 1998? I never watched MTV. MTV. Oh, um, um. Do you want choices? Yeah, give me the choices. Total Request Live, Unplugged, MTV News, or MTV Rocks Off? I'm going to say MTV News, but I don't think that's right. Is it Unplugged? Nope. It was Total Request Live. Okay, mm. sure. <laughs> what? All right. I was four at the time, but okay. Okay, what was the name of the Spice Girls debut album in 1996? The Spice Girls. Kind of. Spice. Yeah. Was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was Spice. Well, they were the girls, so they, they just were, needed yeah. Spice. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't know any. Man, you guys would not know any of these. Try us. Try us. <laughs> <laughs> well, like okay, then. How many black keys are found on a traditional piano? 64. Uh, 32. That's actually You're right. Correct. Yeah, 64 is all the keys. Yes. <laughs> what as soon is, as I said it, I was like, that's all right. <laughs> what is Fergie's real name? Fergalicious. <laughs> no. No, it's um, Farah, isn't it? Something or other? Nope. Not good. Stacy Ann Ferguson. Good job, guys. Close enough. What Nashville venue was Taylor Swift playing when she was discovered? Grand Old Opry. <laughs> no, she would not be playing there before she got discovered. I have no idea. Uh, Some bar. Nashville's got talent. <laughs> the Bluebird Cafe. Sure. Wow, good job, guys. Whatever you say. I'm glad I tried you. We got what, one of them. What yeah. team was the longest has the longest winning streak in NBA history? NBA? Yes. I don't know, Lakers? Yes, the Lakers are the correct answer. Mm-hmm. What team won the first NBA game? Lakers. No. The 76ers. They're on here, but no. Oh. Do you want your choices? Yes. Boston Celtics, Golden Celtics. State Warriors, uh, yeah, Philadelphia 76ers, or the New York Knicks? Knicks. That's what you think? Mm. <laughs> he Are you sticking with the 76ers? Oh, he just told me it wasn't the 76ers. They were a choice, but it, that wasn't He didn't them. say it wasn't them. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said he wasn't. I don't know. Did I? Yeah. I don't know. I'm saying the Knicks. You were right. It is the Knicks. I, yeah. Apparently, I know NBA. Who scored the first three-point basket in NBA history? Michael Jordan. No. He's not even Steph on the Curry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you want to try? You want some... Why don't you let me give you the choices? Yeah, okay, give, fine. Give, give us Chris next. Ford, Howard Porter, Rick Roby, or ML Carr? ML Carr. No, it was Rick Cr- Robey. No, Chris Ford. Okay. All right. He made what, the cars, didn't he? What <laughs> NBA player has won the most league MVPs? LeBron James. LeBron James. Michael Jordan. LeBron James. <laughs> Kareem Jabbar. Or Steph- <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stephen hold on, Curry. Hold on. Say Jabbar. that name again. Jabbar. Jabbar. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Yes. Is what you were trying to say? <laughs> What's, your, what's your answer? <laughs> what's Le- your answer? LeBron. I uh, I actually think it's Michael Jordan. No, it's Kareem. Sorry. It was Kareem. Uh, How many points did LeBron James score in his very first NBA game? Ten. Thirty-two. Well, all right. None of you are right. Twenty-five. Oh. Okay. We were in. We were in, it was <laughs> the, in the average. Middle. Yeah. Oh, here we go. What three teams did Babe Ruth play? We're in baseball, by the way. What three teams did Babe Ruth play for? <laughs> New York, Boston, and Philadelphia. No. What he said. No. Red Sox, White Sox, and the Knicks. No. <laughs> wow. You two were so good at first, and then it's just gotten worse. As you Was it the Red Sox and the White Sox? Red Sox, the New York Yankees, and the Boston Braves. There we go. We got some of it. Oh, so I was, I was close. You had two out of three. I had, yeah, I had two out of the three. But you were wrong. You're wrong. Got him. Hey, oh. <laughs> what is the name of the... <laughs> <laughs> of the sh- what? Well, how did we get to soccer already? Jesus! All right, what is the name of the Chicago Fire Soccer Stadium? The Chicago Fire Stadium. <laughs> Damn! Was that it? No. <laughs> no. Is it Toyota Park, CenturyLink Field, or Digital Health Sports Park? Ooh, the last one sounds like cynically businessy, so I'm gonna go with that one. Toyota. You're right, Toyota uh, Park. 
I'm not. No, these. Are, I have a question for you guys. Here we go. Do you football. know what the only NHL stadium or NHL arena that isn't named after a corporate sponsor is, and who plays there? No. Hang on. Let me see if it's only PPG here first. Pa- well, PPG Paints would yeah. be corporate. Yeah, it's not that one. I don't know. Madison Square Garden. Oh yeah. With the Rangers. Yeah. Well, I was trying to. F- All right. How many regular season games are played in the NFL? 12? 16. Six? It's 16, yeah. All right, 16. Used, I assume you mean it, per team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What franchise team is the oldest in professional football history? Uh, is this the Green Bay Packers, Arizona Cardinals, New England Patriots, or the Chicago Bears? It'd have to be New England, wouldn't it? Yeah, I believe it's New England. I would agree. Most of the sports started in the Northeast. Nope. It was Air- the Arizona Cardinals. Really? really? Yep. Wow. wow. You learned something new did every they, day. Did, did they move at some point? They or, had to have. There's I, no way. Do I look like a cause, football guy? Because I, <laughs> I know Dallas used to be another team. New York or Pennsylvania is always a safe bet for the yeah. first team. Which player holds the longest NFL record and the longest interception return? Brett for Favre. the longest interception. Brett Favre. Uh, James Harrison, Ed Reed, or Lorenzo Lynch? I think it's Ed Reed because Harrison was blocking for uh, him. It was in know. a Super Bowl. I'll go with him. Ed Reed. I'll, I'll defer yeah. to Zach. You are correct. Yeah. Who was the first football player drafted in 1936 during the first ever NFL draft? Bruce Brett Favre. Smith. <laughs> Bill Favre. He Sounds about right. He'd be dead right now. <laughs> Bill Farlick or Jay Berwanger. Berwanger. Ranger. Wow. I'm an idiot. The Come third on, one. Yeah, third one. That's right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who is the only Super Bowl MVP to have played on the losing team? Tom Brady. <laughs> they never lose. Oh, I remember that year. Chuck um, Howell, George Belanda, or uh, Sonny. I think this is Jurgensen. None of those names ring a bell. No. First one. Chuck Howell, you're correct. Yeah. <laughs> If nothing else, Zach is just good <laughs> at the numbers game. <laughs> wow. Just, I'm waiting for us to get into the hockey. There is no hockey. Are you kidding? <laughs> nope. Throw out some hockey trivia. You I'm ready. Hockey trivia? Put, me, put me in, coach. Hockey he's, trivia. He's ready to play. All right. Let me. All right. We got four. I'm minutes. ready for Wayne Gretzky question. All right. Hockey trivia. Yeah. Uh, what team? Uh, what team acquired Carter Hutton in July 2018? Toronto Maple Leafs? No. No, it wasn't. It was... Um, I can't give you choices for this one. Uh, you can't? Is no. It just... No, this is just... I, I only have the answer in front of me. Oh, it was... Um, oh. I can't remember. Excuse me. It was the Buffalo Sabres. Damn it, yeah. Who, which, remember, who remembers them? Which player did the New York Islanders trade uh, for Thomas Venek in 2013? That's too long ago. Yammer Yager. Matt Molson. No way. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Matt Molson. Yeah, that was... Uh, if oh, it's too much older You were than feeling that, very confident. Now it's not looking good. It's not. The 2014 head coach of which hockey team is Ken Hitchcock? I don't know the Islanders. St. Louis Blues. Sure. In June 2015, who won the Jack Adams Award as the NHL Coach of the Year? Sully. Yeah, I think it's Sully. Nope. How's it not Sully? Bob Hartley. What team changed their name to the Arizona Coyotes for the 2014-2015 NHL season? I know this. It was they were the. I actually knew this one. Uh, they were still Arizona, right? Yes. They were the Arizona. Um... Wait, what are you? Wait, what are you asking me? Yeah, they, they were still called Arizona Blank, right? No. Was it when they moved? Because <sighs> they moved from. I'm giving you ten seconds. Well, well, uh, four. Three. I know they moved. Two, I forget what they were before one. then. It was the Phoenix Coyotes. That's right. It was the the city. All right. What was the first name of hockey's Pot Potovin? Excuse Podvin? me. 
P O T V I N? Potvin? I have no idea what that is. Well, apparently his name was Dennis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what team is in their 40th season of the National Hockey League in 2018-2019? 40th, that would be... Pittsburgh Penguins. No, they're older. Um, it's not the Stars, is it? Nope, Arizona Coyotes. There, mm. there they are again. Who? <laughs> some of this? That was one of the expansions there. In 2015, who became the first Canadian... Oh, Croatian born player to score a goal in the NHL. I don't remember. Uh, do you you got anything, Zach? No. Uh, Vorna Rendulic. Rendulic. Yeah. Mm. Uh, who won their third career Hart Memorial Trophy for the 2012 2013 season? Again, that's too long ago. Alexander of. Oh, okay. was that? Oh, Ovechkin. 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 He's yeah. just such a. When it comes to awards, he's such a safe bet. I uh, don't know why I didn't go. Which with Which ice hockey team? I hate that they won a Stanley Cup because now you can't make an Ovechkin at the bar. No. <laughs> which ice hockey team, or t- which ice hockey term? I'm sorry, is defined as the area contained between the blue lines. The crease. Yeah. No. It, or the offensive zone. No. Between whoa, whoa, the blue lines? Whoa, wait, wait, re- re- yeah. read the question. So which ice hockey term is defined as the area contained between the blue lines? Neutral zone. Oh, yeah. So, yep. Okay. Oh. I, 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 <laughs> I'm thinking like the, the blue like, line and the net. Yeah, yeah. like the first thing, as soon as I heard blue line, I was like, oh, they're talking about the net. <laughs> yeah. Phil Kessel led which NHL yeah. team in scoring during the 2011-2012 season? Pittsburgh Penguins? Yeah. Nope. No, he wouldn't. Oh, have been. He no, was still in the Leafs was... then. Yeah, Toronto Maple Leafs. Yep. Good yeah. Yeah. No, he didn't come to Pittsburgh until I think twenty. And then they got rid of him because he four... wouldn't get in shape, and then he just absolutely killed it for us. For us? Yeah. No, it was a good decision to get rid of them. No, no, no. What I was saying is when yeah, no, the, the Leafs right, got yeah. rid of him, he wouldn't get in he shape. He did so well for us here, but yeah, after a couple of years here, we didn't really need a sniper, a situational sniper. When, like when he I was. went to go play poker, I, uh, I I I play Texas Hold'em. He would be playing the big pot limit Omaha game behind me. Oh, it was cool. nuts. So what much money was on that table. I believe it. All right. Were you there when Eli was there? Oh, no. He was. Nah, this is a different player. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, All right. Which Pittsburgh Penguins coach took home the NHL Jack Adams Award for the 2010-2011 season? Solly wasn't coached then, so it would have been. Uh, Rutherford wasn't coached at that at all, was he? Who did they fire? For, or they didn't. Ugh. I don't know. I forget. It wasn't Sully, though. Was Dan? it? Huh? Dan? Dan Hartman? Dan Hartman? <laughs> no. Yeah. It was... Dan, uh, I, th- I I could be wrong, but I think this is Bissima? I B-Y... No, I, I don't okay, remember. Well. All right. What 2018-2019 team included Paul Bittner and Zach Daple- Deplay? I think is how you say I that. Have no idea. That they spelled Columbus Flyers. Blue Jackets is uh-huh. who it was. All right, this is the last question. Okay. Well, last question of this. Mario Lemieux. Wayne Gretzky. Wow. Did he get it? I think he did. <laughs> what is it? No, no, he didn't. All right, which player had the best time at the oh. 2012 <laughs> NHL Faster Skater competition? Um. Yeah, no Crosby. I'm thinking it's um uh I can think of his face, I can't think of his name. It's Crosby's second. Malkin. Tang? Malkin. Or Malkin? No, it wouldn't have been a penguin. It would have been and if it I know who said it most recently was um good old McJesus. It's Colin Greening. Yeah. All right. McDavid cool. said McJesus. it recently. All right. A new one. Mm. We're at the we're almost out of time. So yeah. this is gonna be your last. I was waiting for my trivia. Was this where is it your asked last? what did the Carolina Hurricanes used to be called? All right. What was the, the Hartford Whalers? Guys, this is the <laughs> last important hockey question. Okay. If you don't get this right, you've lost everything. Okay. You Mario Lemieux. This we haven't your, lost everything yet. <laughs> this is your last chance. Who wants to make a millionaire? Let's go. Who is Tobias's acting coach? What's wrong? It was um <laughs> It wasn't Carl Weathers, was it? It was Carl Weathers. Yeah. You won. <laughs> That's right. That I was heard. a great hockey trivia guy. Yeah, it was. 
<laughs> do you want me to actually give you a final hockey ticket, or you want another? Do rest is, of the, is the answer Wayne Gretzky? Uh, I was gonna say I'm amazed there weren't more Mario Lemieux. I know Wayne Gretzky. They really dug deep for some of those, especially with Lemieux, because Lem- if Lemieux wasn't so, I'm trying to find. You I guess hurt. those are just gimmies, though. If it's yeah. about like who wore number 99, what's or what's the only number retired league wide? Oh yeah, that's, that's 99, the, the great one. Mm-hmm. Like, all right. Well, I'm not. Do you want one more rest of development? Yes. All right. Let me find you a good one real quick. Give me. Let's go all the way to page four. Uh oh. He's he's digging deep for these Arrested Development questions. Oh no. Oh, who once made up a twin sister called Shirley in order to get money? <laughs> that was. Uh... Was it Pearly? No. No. It was. Uh, it was maybe, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wait who did she do that to? Wait a minute. She did it to her school because she pretended That's to have right. cancer. That's <laughs> right. She was just her sister was disabled. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I got one more because I think this will be great. Which of these things is Tobias Fuquay's or Tobias Fuquay's known for? <laughs> you ready? Yes. He is a never nude. He was a former actor t- or doctor turned actor. Yeah. Is married to Lindsay Bluth or D all of these? All of those. All of those. You're right. Uh, yeah. I love the, that show. Oh man. The Balboa Bay Blank was a magazine which featured Buster and Lucille on the cover more than once. <laughs> it was the uh... oh, it was something about the the men or the what was it? I forget. <laughs> this one, this one's too. The B- Balboa Bay Window is what it was called. Oh, I don't remember that. All right, then. I'm sorry. One more. One more. Okay. <laughs> How did Buster lose his hand? You have to be very specific. He lost it to a Lucille. <laughs> 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 You're right. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Seal applies for adoption to teach Buster a lesson for what? <laughs> I forgot about this oh, one. He was oh, so not damn. eating his cottage cheese. <laughs> we need to add this. Yeah, okay. we need to add this. All right. All right. So all before right. I let you guys go any further, thank you all for listening. I yes. think this has been a great episode. <laughs> you can find me at little underscore leaf at Twitter. Uh, you can find the whole show at www.popcultureunboxing.com. And anywhere uh, podcasts are sold. Yes, all of them. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Pop Culture Unboxing. Be sure to tell your friends about us. Word of mouth is huge. You can find me at Matt Ross VO. Start on Twitter. going to our Reddit, Pop Culture Unboxing. R slash Pop Culture Unboxing. Yeah, so I can talk to Where are you? you? I'm a Red Steak Ryan pretty much everywhere yes. that exists. All right. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. Well, Ryan. Do you want one more question? Yes, I do. (laughs) Oh, I I deleted it. (laughs) Pull it back up. We got time. Hang on. All right, I've got got it. Where is the money hidden? In the The banana banana stand. stand. (laughs) I want to know his last question. (laughs) All right, I'm going to go to the final page of it. Okay. Final page. Go to the very bottom. My body is ready. (laughs) Who gets the highest bid at the Save the Wetlands Bachelorette auction? (laughs) It was Lindsay, wasn't it? It was Lucille Ostero. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay gets nothing. <laughs> that was right. Nobody bid on her. <laughs> I need to rewatch that I forgot that about show. this one. Lindsay Great. befriends a protester in a tree. What was his name? Johnny Bark. <laughs> I forgot about oh, that one, man. too. All right. Well, All right, I'm going to go rewatch everybody. the rest of the development. Bye, everyone. Oh, have fun. Thank you.